Hello my beautiful people, you're welcome back to my page, my channel. If you're new here, please hit the like, follow, subscribe button. I'm glad to see you here on a very beautiful new week again. Okay, on today's video is your palm nut soup. Like, it's called the banga soup from our dialect. From the worry people, this is for you. Okay, let's get right into it. So there I have some goat meat. Then I'm going to pour them into a sink and wash them properly. And I'm going to transfer them into my pot for, uh, I'm just going to steam that, like cook for like a minute or two to actually soften the fresh meat for easy cut. Okay. While that is cooking, I'm going to add the palm nut into another pot. Like so, like you can see what I'm doing here. After adding to add some water to take out every remaining of the palm nut from the can and add them to the one of the pot. And we're going to like cook this for like two, three minutes. While that is prepping as well, we're going to go in with the spices of this main soup. We don't do without those spices. That's we have Otai, Ku, and Rogoje. Please, if you know the English name for them, help me with it, okay? And some scotch bennet pepper, some crayfish, and some onion. Just that. And we're going to blend this to a smooth paste, all right? Like so. Because without the natural air, hmm, it's not going to be so nice. So yeah, the gut meat has actually steamed or cooked for like a few minutes. And we're going to transfer to a shop bird because we're going to shop this and cook it properly. So like my mom would teach me, rest in memory, my mom. So the meat, if you're using to cook your banga soap, cook it with the banga directly. And it's going to have the meat so tasty with the juices of your palm nuts, okay? So I cut them to some beads. I'm going to add that to the pot and we're going to cook them now properly with the palm nuts that we've actually steamed. Okay, here's the basis of this palm nut. Please take note. For my palm nut, why I actually steam them first? Because you, at the end of the can, you have some deaths. Please take note. So you see, I'm going to add more water now. You will see the death that comes out from this palm nut. Okay, that's the reason you always have to parboil your palm nut before using them. So you can take out the deaths from the palm can that is left inside those that have actually settled okay now the blend we had earlier on I'm gonna mix pour them into the meat as well so it will give your meat really good taste this is the best way to cook your banger soup trust me guys so now it's a started steamy cooking the meat together with the palm nuts and the uh, blends of um, the spices together now i'm going to add in some more chopped onions yeah Oh, lots of onion or your bangas will give you more excellent taste, trust me. Just try how this method in tank later. Okay, now the scotch banana pepper, I found out it's not really hot. So I'm going to go more, more with some chili flakes. Okay, there you can see I had some dry bitter leaf and we have the other one, Belletiete. So I had that the name for this is called bush apple leaves because i actually shared it on my page too and someone to give me the right english word for it so that belletier tier is bush apple leaves thank you guys for for actually giving me the right word for it okay so thanks so much so we had the dry bitter leaf and the bush apple leaves to it which is belletier tier okay now there's another amazing part i actually love using with myself this is some dried chicken okay not really properly dried but it's just a dried chicken that is going to help to give you your meals more life okay it has more taste it's like some excess of the crayfish that you, you instead of you using the bigger crayfish or any other uh little chop chop with your soup you're gonna add that dry chicken to your soup it's gonna give it an excellent taste again okay so now we're gonna leave all this to cook properly like yeah it's gonna cook properly and you can see we started having some oil out of this soup i have a video of ask you about this oil this oil don't throw it away it's an amazing um tips for you you're gonna love it so before that i'm gonna add some of the fetch uh, macro into it to give it another taste. You know, this macro hmm, is going to add more taste to you. So you can see now the whole oil of this palm nut has come out. So I'm going to scoop them out. I have a video I did that. Okay, you can watch that. I don't throw them away. It's an amazing. You don't need to buy oil anymore. And it's going to be tasty. You know, the oil will not be sweet because you have lots of goodness into it. And you see our banga soup, which is the palm nut soup, 
is ready to go with any digging. Your semovita, your semo, your panto, your wheat, whichever you're going to garnish with it. I'm going to garnish it the way we, we normally garnish it with back from my home, which is stash. And I'm going to show you how I'm going to do that. Thanks for watching. And I love you guys. Bye.